Good morning. It is Sunday, February 26th, uh, 27th, something like that. 27th. 27th. Welcome to my channel. Where's Jovi? And where am I? I'm still in Panama, you guys. We are currently headed to Chiquia. Chiquia? Chiquia. 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 <laughs> Yeah, well, you'll get it. <laughs> what is it? Um, it's uh, it's just like a, a kind of a panoramic spot up in the mountains. Oh. It's just really pretty, small, small little town. Uh, it's very beautiful. Okay. So that's where we're headed. I'm super excited. Yeah, um, yeah. It looks like everybody else is headed there too. Everybody's yeah, cool. it is. Go ahead, sorry. Everybody's going out into the country for Carnaval. Yeah, Carnaval Which... is a festival they have every year in Panama, but all I don't know, it's like kind of interesting because the government has says no carnaval this year, but so we're just gonna see what the people do. Yeah. Um, it's a four day festival, correct? Yeah, it's like it's it's like Mardi Gras. Um, it, it takes place on the same day. It's so any any Catholic country does like carnival. Um, so it's like the days leading up to Ash Wednesday and the start of Lent. So like you know, Brazil has got you know the big carnaval there. Um, you know, Mexico's doing it, Panama's doing it, um, you know, New Orleans, because of its French roots as a Catholic country, does it, um, for its Mardi Gras. So is it all religious based? Uh, I mean, well, it's not religious now, but the, yeah, the roots are religious, because it used to be, like, you'd have one last big party before 40 days of Lent, where you have to be, like, sober and, and reflective and, and well-behaved. Got it. Yeah. For all my non-calves out there. Yeah, okay. See, okay. Um, so we were just talking about driving in Panama and these people in the middle of the street are, you know, selling drinks or probably selling food because the highway does get backed up here. Um, so when you drive here, um, the directions do change. Um, if you go off the highway or even on the highway, you have to be extremely careful. Um, and just be aware of these people too selling items on the road. It's very common, see? And we just have to be careful. Constantly, constantly watch. Look at this. I mean, we haven't even gone a mile. We've already passed like a dozen people. Yeah. Uh, that are selling goods. Uh, yeah, you got something yummy though. The churrasco? Can, can it's, it's, some kind of, it's like a fried. I don't know. I don't know. These people are brave. They really are. Okay, aquí estamos. Yep, so we end the. Our first stop is um, un sitio que se llama Chiquia. Chiquia? Chiquia. It's a national, it's a natural park. Yeah, we're going to the top. It's gonna be really pretty. I well, want you nice. guys to see this. Are you guys ready for this? Es un lago. El mar. Es el mar. Es el mar eh, Pacífico. We, Nathan's going to fetch my hat. No te vas abajo. <laughs> Están en un sitio seguro. No. Now I know I know one wears hats here. Okay, so we're at we're at Coronado Beach. Coronado Beach. So I guess we have to pay something to get in. Yeah, I think it's like a resort community. So the guy was super nice. Um, he basically asked where we were going and we're like, I don't know, we don't have any idea. So he recommended the place that we were going to go to anyway called Picasso. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Right, Picasso. Picasso. This, this gonna looks look. cute. Alright, you want to stop here first? So I got the 
basically like a creamy sauce with salmon bits. But actually, I'm jealous of Nathan's because he got the gnocchi with meat sauce. Mm -hmm. But he's stealing my food. Yeah. Take it. They're both good. I'm trying to. I gotta <laughs> airlift this thing out of here. It's good with the rest of us actually mixed together. It's yeah, it good. is. You guys, this place was so good. Se llama Luna Rosa. And it has like the cutest. Okay, Bogenvillas. They're so cute. Let me get the fuck out of the way. All right, let me try to not get like run over. Look how beautiful the Bougainvillea little entrance. So pretty. I'm gonna show you their courtyard. Super cute too. They got like a little hut. Yeah, it is back. That's where we're headed, Gorgona Beach. Yeah. Well, okay, so we're at this Bahia. Yeah, so it's like a condo resort. Yeah, and we had to get we had to get through a gate, and they checked IDs, and then we got one of these. So we're in, people. We're we gonna got show a you day pass and you know, a little day day pass, no charge. Day pass I mean, action, yeah. I mean, right now, like no it. charge. So, aquí estamos. Se ve bien, riquísimo. Tienen un bar aquí. Y mira, está el mar. Cerquito. We are at Bahia Hotel. This is a great place. I already can already tell. This is facing the Pacific Ocean. I can already tell this is going to be like an amazing um, sunset. I just wanted to... You know, see, these are, I think these are condominiums and then Nathan's uh, waving over there. <laughs> but look at this, Kali! He chases all the, um, these little golf carts that drive by. So cute. But I want you to check out the sand because it's bien brillante, this black sand. Nathan tells me that it's like some sort of, you see all these track marks? Like these are all golf cart marks. So I have to like, it's almost like I'm across some damn hallway. I have to make sure. Look at this. I don't know if you can see how glimmery it is. It's like little jewels. Okay. I gotta go back up here before I get run over. We're about an hour from Panama City. And so there's a couple of beaches here. There's um, there's uh, this one's uh, Playa Gorgona, and then there's Punta Chame and San Carlos and Coronado are the beaches down here that are really popular. Um, a lot of condos, a lot of people retiring here and just getting like excuse me, getting oceanfront property. Um, so it's definitely more of a scene here. Whereas if you go farther south, the beaches are less built up because they're farther from the city. Yeah, so you, when you first get here, you guys, you're going to see sneak a beautiful in. pool. You got to sneak in. You're going to see a beautiful pool that I'm showing you right now. You're going to see it's so pretty. A million kids. But go down to the beach. Yeah. And it's much better. It's no... Yeah, beach from bar, no kids. It's less kids. Chill. And then you have the beach front. As yeah. You can see. Yeah, and you get to see people drive their their rented ATVs at <laughs> 80 miles an hour, like running over kids and dogs everywhere. Yes, exactly. So <laughs> I would highly recommend this place, but not up there. Come down here. Yeah, it's um, it's a little lame up there. Yeah. Let me so home. like golf carts just crashed it's a atv atv just crashed because they're fucking drunk yeah they they swerved and then they got thrown off and flipped it yeah over. so we're wondering should be we be watching the sunset they just run us over? look they're doing donuts all the way back there now oh no we, we dead we we dead we should we go back there no okay so we're 
catching the sunset here in front of the Bahia condominiums. <laughs> so, I will say that it is not the best sunset. And yeah. you have to watch out for these fucking ATVs, ATVs and like carts and don't run us over. Yeah. Drunk fucks. Yeah, no, this is like this is like a five out of ten sunset. Like, yeah, this is definitely a five out of ten. But we so, had a great time. Gracias! So this place looks amazing at night. But you need to come here and stay here. Otherwise, you will get kicked out. Hey, goodbye. Calm down. Yeah. I'm gonna guess that. He found. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>